Hello, and welcome to this lesson, English Owl, Lesson 21. Let's have a look at our vocabulary for this lesson. Same, married, confused, scrambled, competition, webbed, envelope. Tandem. Now, let's take a closer look at those words. Same. Being one identical thing or person. Example. The two lion cubs looked exactly the same. Your turn. Make a sentence including the word same. Married, having a partner in marriage, united in matrimony. Example, the married couple feel very happy together. Your turn. Make a sentence including the word married. Confused, having difficulty understanding. Perplexed, puzzled. Example. He was very confused about what to do next. Your turn. Make a sentence including the word confused. Scramble. To cook eggs in an open pan, stirring constantly to produce a uniformly cooked mixture. Example, I like my scrambled eggs on toast. Your turn. Make a sentence including the word scrambled. Competition, a contest or game, the process or act of competing. Example, they won the competition together by working as a team. Your turn. Make a sentence including the word competition. Webbed, having or joined by a web. Example, many animals have webbed feet webbed hands, and even wings. Your turn. Make a sentence including the word webbed. Envelope. A folded paper covering or container usually used to mail letters. Example. She put her letter in a yellow envelope. Your turn. Make a sentence including the word envelope. Tandem. One behind another in single file. Example. They enjoyed nothing more than riding their tandem bike together. Your turn. Make a sentence including the word tandem. Brilliant. Now, let's have a look at our story. Read along and find the words in our vocabulary. Big Liam, Little Liam by Ruth Morgan and Tim Archbold. Two boys with the same name find a way to solve a problem. This is the story of two boys with the same name. Big Liam used to live with his mum in a flat, just the two of them. His name was Liam Morden back then. He was almost taller than his mum and he called her Tiny Tina. Little Liam Kelly used to live with his dad, Jim, in their house, just the two of them. 
Every Saturday night, they had a takeaway pizza and watched the big football match on telly. Then, Liam Morden's mum met Liam Kelly's dad. They fell in L-O-V-E. The boys didn't like saying that word out loud. And they got married. Everyone was happy, except for one thing. Liam Morden became Liam Kelly. Now, there were two Liam Kellys. And they didn't even look like brothers. Having two Liams in the same house caused problems. In the morning, tiny Tina would shout upstairs, Hey, Liam, do you need your football kit today? Yes, please, one Liam would shout. No, ta, shouted the other Liam. Tiny Tina got very confused. The worst time was Christmas. Some presents just had to Liam written on them. Mine, one Liam would shout. No, mine, shouted the other Liam. It was like pulling crackers, but not as friendly. Sometimes it was easy to tell which present was which. Why couldn't each Liam be called something a bit different? Tiny Tina wanted to call them Liam 1 and Liam 2, but the boys didn't like that. Jim wanted to call them Big Liam and Little Liam, but the boys didn't like that either. So they were both called just Liam, and sometimes that was confusing. One morning, Jim was making scrambled eggs on toast. You don't like scrambled eggs, do you, Liam? Jim asked. Yuck, no thanks, said one Liam. You know I do, said the other Liam. Jim was very confused. Both Liams read the back of the cornflakes packet. There was a competition. You had to paint a picture of a dragon. And the first prize was any bike you wanted. I saw the competition first, Liam shouted, pulling at the box. No, I did, shouted the other Liam. Look, boys, said Jim, you are both good at painting. You can both enter the competition. OK, they both said. Liam went into the living room to do his painting. He didn't want anyone to see. He painted a red dragon with webbed wings. The only bit of his painting he didn't like was the legs. He just couldn't get them to look right. The other Liam went to the bedroom to do his painting. He didn't want anyone to see. He painted a green dragon with long legs. The only bit of his painting he didn't like was the wings. He tried painting them again and again, but they still looked like tea trays. The boys met on the stairs. Have you finished your painting? asked Liam. Nearly, said Liam. What about you? Um, nearly, said Liam. Do you think you're going to win? Do you? No. No, neither do I. Both boys looked fed up. There's something wrong with my dragon. Take a look, said Liam. Its legs just aren't right. I've tried and tried, but I can't make them look any better. The rest of it is good, said Liam. I like the wings. I can't paint wings at all. Look at these wings like tea trays on mine. Both boys laughed. 
Hey, I've just had an idea, said Liam. How about if I paint your dragon's wings and I paint your dragon's legs, said Liam. What a great idea. Don't tell anyone, though. I won't if you won't. So off they went to help each other out. They were busy painting for the rest of the morning. Later that day, they went to the post office and posted a big envelope off to the cornflakes competition. I hope you're lucky, said one Liam with a smile. I hope you are too, the other Liam smiled back. One morning, two months later, the boys were having breakfast. Jim ran into the kitchen with a letter in his hand. I think it's about the cornflake competition, he said. Tiny Tina read the name on the envelope. She stopped smiling. It says to Liam Kelly, she said. Which one do they mean? You'd better open it, said one of the Liams. Tiny Tina opened the envelope slowly. She read the letter. You've won, she gasped. Well, one of you has. It says that Liam Kelly has won first prize in the dragon painting competition. Jim looked worried. The boys smiled at each other. Tiny Tina carried on reading. She looked very worried too. We would like Liam Kelly to come to the town hall on Friday 13th April at 11 a.m. He will be given an award and asked to name the bike he wants as his prize. Friday the 13th, gasped Jim. That's unlucky. Things were getting worse and worse. Who's going to go? asked Jim. Who's going to go? asked Tiny Tina. Liam and I had better both go said one Liam. We'd all better go, said the other. Over the next few weeks, Jim tried to talk to his son. Will you be very upset if you don't win? asked Jim. I'll hit the roof, said Liam. I want to win more than anything in the world. But when Jim left the room, Liam smiled to himself. Over the next few weeks, Tiny Tina tried to talk to her son. If you don't win, she said. Don't say it, Mum, said Liam. If I don't win, I'll go bananas. I'll never talk to Liam ever again. But when she left the room, Liam smiled to himself. Poor Jim and Tiny Tina. They were worried the two Liams would stop being friends. They didn't know what to do. On Friday the 13th of April, the Kelly family arrived at the town hall. They sat down in the front row near the stage. The Cornflakes boss told everyone who had won third and second prizes in the competition. But guess who has won first prize, he said. Then he held up a wonderful painting of two flying dragons, one red and one green, with long legs and webbed wings. The winner is Liam Kelly, he said. Both Liams looked at each other. 
Then they stood up and walked to the stage together. We are both Liam Kelly, the boys told the Cornflakes boss. We both painted the picture together and we know what kind of bike we want as our prize. Congratulations, laughed the boss. Name your bike. A week later, the bike arrived with a photographer to take a picture for the newspaper. The bike was a tandem, a bike made for two people. Big Liam had the first go in front and the boys agreed they would always take it in turns. And they did. The end. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Bye-bye.